The Microsoft Flight Simulator Alpha registration details are open. If you can't wait for the release of the 2024 sim and want the opportunity to get your hands on a limited, very early version that is only available for a few days, stay tuned as we have all the details about the technical alpha, including all of this week's massive list of announcements and release news. A quick disclaimer, if you're here for just the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 news or life's too busy to watch the full video, you can skip to the last a third of this video and you'll find all the information about Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, including the alpha registration. Or you could stick around and preview all of this week's release news as we have a lot to go through. Kicking off at this week's previews and announcements, unless you've been living underneath the rock, iFly have announced their pricing for their intimate release when it comes to the Boeing 737 MAX. Leading up to the pricing announcement, several content creators have showcased the aircraft in many pre-release streams, including ours. These streams have highlighted the iFly Max's extensive systems, high visuals, advanced avionics, EFB, with a bunch of feature options and a whole lot more. Many content creators have appraised the iFly version of the Max in its attention to detail both inside and out. The price is now being confirmed to be $69.95 and a 40% discount at a reduced price for previous purchases versions of the P3D version of the aircraft. With the new sim on the horizon, the team plans to bring the MAX to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. At this stage, we don't know if it will be a paid upgrade as it's still unknown what development will take to take advantage of the new features from moving a 2020 aircraft to 2024. But now the official release date is the only obstacle in the way before you get your hands on the iFly Max and of course we will keep you posted on this one. Big Radio briefly teased in June this year that the team was developing their version of the first real world business jet which is the Lockheed Jetstar. The team is looking at releasing the Jetstar soon as a early access product with a discounted price to the aircraft until it's finished in completion. The team is planning to release a 2024 version down the track but for now the flight model of the aircraft and the interior is fairly mature and the team is hard at work at getting the Jetstar into shape to release in the coming weeks. The Jetstar will be available through the big radial store and just for now we have some shiny new screenshots of the Jetstar in the sim. We have cut the previews and announcements a little short this time around as there is a lot of release news so before we jump into all of this week's release news we are 2,000 subscribers short of hitting out 100,000 subscribers here on the channel and hopefully we'll be able to hit that magical milestone before the end of the year is out. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so before we jump into the release news. Thank you very much for your support. Black Box Simulations this week released its BN2 Turbine Islander for Microsoft Flight Simulator. The team teased a few screenshots over the past month of the aircraft and now the Turbine Islander has been released. The next variant of the Islander introduces turbines to the model of the release that was launched back in 2021. The release comes with four favorite versions of the turbine, including civilian, military, AEW, and Defender 4000. The team mentions that the aircraft is equipped with advanced avionics, including a Garmin 275 ADI and also a GMC 5000 autopilot. Accurate turboprop flight dynamics have been included, fully functional weather radar, supports the PMS uh, S50 and the GTN 750 GPS and also Navigraph uh, chart integration. 24 liveries are included and you can pick up your copy of a Black Box uh, Simulations BN2 Turbine Islander for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, which is expected also to come to 2024. You can pick them up at the Black Box store. I'll leave a link in the description below. We have had two Airbus A330 releases this week. One of those has been the Latin VFR A330-200, which flew under the radar a little as all the spotlight seemed to be on the not well-received Aerosoft A330. The Latin VFR A330-200 is not a highly detailed version of the Airbus A330. However, it makes it accessible to mostly everyone. That being said, it does provide a bunch of features that Latin VFR mentions that the A330 
free 3200 systems will simulate core functions that are designed to offer basic but functioning cockpit operations. Alongside with a detailed modeling both of the exterior and the interior with high definition textures, the cabin has been fully modeled. It also features a business class, a premium economy and economy seats along with galleys. There is three engine variants included such as GE, Rolls Royce and Pratt and & Winnie and also comes with over 40 real world liveries of different worldwide airlines. EFB functions are included with the aircraft such as weather, ground services, management and Navigraph supports. Fuel dumping and trim tank auto transfer has been included which is a native to the 330. Latin VFR's Airbus A33200 is available from the Insima Marketplace store or in the Control store. I'll leave a link and discount codes in the description below. Parallel 42 are uh, added again with another detailed bush adventure scenery. This time the team is releasing Window Peak for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This scenery takes you to Lincoln County, which is a small area near the Mount Wanga with some challenging approaches and scenic views. As with all Parallel 42 sceneries, this one is packed full of smaller details and Easter eggs for you to go and find. The scenery also includes custom models, custom sounds, highly detailed textures, sets that are used throughout, grass strips that are modeled right to the cliff edge along with a helipad. You can pick up your copy of Parallel 42's Window Peak over on at their store using the link in the description below. The next release is something I missed a little while ago and I thought it was worth mentioning and it is from a new developer called Diff Flyer Direct who have released their first scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator which is a Detroit and a Windsor City Pack. The city pack has been handcrafted from a Detroit native of plus 25 years and it brings the city to life with hundreds of handmade buildings, boats and monuments. The scenery includes 200 plus handcrafted buildings, 14 high detail monuments, 3 detailed stadiums, 25 plus a block of custom streets and sidewalks, a bunch of animations to bring the city to life like real world trains, 16 marinas with custom boats and high quality PBR textures used throughout the scenery. The city pack has been developed with performance in mind and has been tested on a wide range of systems and VR with no real frame impact. You can pick up your copy of Diff Flyers Direct Detroit and Windsor City Pack from the Contrail store or leave a link and discount code in the description below. A big shout out to our friends over at Aviation Lads a YouTube channel who creates some of the best flight sim trailers for product releases. Thank you for letting us use their footage for the last three products that we mentioned. There is links in the description below so you can go and share some community you love and go and jump over and give the guys a subscribe over on their YouTube channel. Jumping back over to aircraft releases, Flying Iron released their newest Warbird to its fleet which is the Fokkerwolf FW190A8 uh, this aircraft is often referred to as the Butcher Bird and that's what I'm about to go and do here um, from now on as it's a little bit easier to say. The Butcher Bird first entered service in 1941 and quickly gained a fearsome reputation. It was known for its speed, agility and firepower and it was a nemesis to the Allied fighters such as the Spitfire at the time. Flying Iron has spent a couple of years on this project and it shows with their high level of detail. Features include with the release is high quality 3D artwork with 14 historical and accurate liveries, highly detailed audio, custom coded flight model, complex uh, system simulations, immersive lighting and other cockpit features, integrated pilot tablet and you can pick up your copy of the Butcher Bird directly from the Flying Iron store, links in the description below and Flying Iron also it mentions they will have a free upgrade to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 when it becomes available. Microsoft and Asobo have released a expansion pack for the ATR with the ATR42600 stall and the 72600 freighter. The ATR was the first release under the Xbox series of aircraft which has been developed by SH Simulations. The expansion pack comes with a bunch of improvements that have been wanted from simmers since the original release. 
Alongside with these improvements is the release of two new aircraft variants, which is the ATR42600S Stoll and also the ATR72600 Freighter variant. The expansion pack is available for both PC and Xbox and cloud options, and you can pick up your copy from the content manager in your Microsoft Flight Simulator Sim if you've purchased the ATR already. Kicking off this week's sim update news and it has been a, another massive week when it comes to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. I know you hear me say each and every week but this one is a bit of a standout. Microsoft started uh, the week by announcing their plans to do a technical alpha in October for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. The aim of this technical alpha was to validate the new services that will be part of the new sim. Thank you to Simbit World of Pilots Life Chapter 2 for sponsoring this video. A pilot's life chapter two simulates the career of a commercial airline pilot by generating your schedules, tracking your scores for your flights and rewarding weekly according to your contract type and much more. Pilot's life provides a reason to fly in the sim from A to B while improving your skills as an airliner pilot and depending on how good your scores are, you can progress throughout your airliner career to higher tier airliners and purchase more aircraft license. With over 575 airliners and over 280,000 Real up-to-date routes, each flight and contract will have you experience the virtual airliner career globally, living a pilot's life. A pilot's life will work across all types of flight sim platforms, including a Microsoft Flight Simulator, X-Plane, P3D, and even FSX. Links in the description are where you can pick up your copy of Pilot's Life, and we thank them for sponsoring this video. The content that testers will have available will be limited, as the Alpha will be focusing on testing services. The Microsoft team mentioned that simmers who would like to participate in the alpha are encouraged to try as much as possible when it comes to the career and challenge modes and some of the key areas the Microsoft team is looking to test and gain data are for content streaming, player inventory, authentication, career mode challenge and missions, data storage, world, world and world map and multiplayer services and also weather. Microsoft said that simmers will have access to a free flight and a limited number of career challenges and discoveries will be available with also a limited number of aircraft. This is a very different alpha considering what we have seen when it comes to the alpha and beta testing that we saw with the original Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. The alpha is only accessible for simmers who have the Microsoft Store version. As for simmers, this is managed by the Microsoft Insider program and not everyone who registers will be granted access. Assuming that Microsoft will be looking at a wide range of PC and internet speeds to gather data. I'll leave a link in the description below of where you can register to be selected to take part in the technical alpha. It is on right now by the time you watch this video and it finishes on Monday the 14th. So if you wanna take a look, jump in right now, get registered and hopefully you'll get a couple of hours of a very basic trimmed down version of 2024. The next development, a live stream is scheduled for next week, which will be October 16th. This stream is planned to showcase and discuss first party aircraft partners with a predicted four developers participating in this next development live stream. The team plans to hold a different live stream each week in the lead up to the release of the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 sim. And of course, we will be checking out the development live stream ourselves and keeping you posted here on the channel. Moving over to uh, this week's in-store sim marketplace backlog list. This week we've seen an increase when it comes to in-sim marketplace new products when it comes to week on week from a total of 242 last week to an increase of 23 to 265. I personally thought we would start seeing this drop down considering we have a new sim coming out in about five weeks time but obviously it's increasing. Aircrafts are down to 31s, missions are up by 8, sceneries are up by nine deliveries are holding steady at 16 airports are up by 11 and others are down by 3 to 18. This week on the in cinema marketplace releases we saw 14 new products hit the Monday releases with seven available for PC and seven available for Xbox. Three new aircraft which were released on the Monday and I think that's a record for Monday aircraft releases which was the Latin VFR A330 which we mentioned before and a couple of fly inside helicopters 
There's one being the, the Jet X, and also the second one is the Rotaway RW162 Foxtrot. Other releases were made up of three airports for Monday. On Thursday releases, which included 50 new products, 23 of these were available on PC and 27 of these are on Xbox. There was no new aircrafts when it comes to Thursday releases, but we did see six livery packs, 11 training and mission packs, three scenery packs, and five airports. Thank you very much for getting this far in the video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please go that little bit extra mile and hit that subscribe button. We are planning to keep you updated with all the development live stream next week, including all of your Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 news. And we will see you in another video real soon. Again, thank you very much for your support.